At no point over the course of our relationship have I had any doubt that I'd be sitting down to write you these vows. Asking you to marry me was the easiest decision of my life because I've never been so confident as I am in the fact that you were the person God intended me to spend the rest of my life with. She's every sunset I've ever seen Out over the oceans to the hills of Tennessee She's everything I'll spend every day of my life trying to make you feel loved the way I do. When we're brushing our teeth before bed or being your sous chef, I promise to make these little moments on a daily basis extraordinary and filled with love. And she called us and said, Dad, I met a guy. I think you'll like him. She said, we've gone out a few times and I really believe this is different. She said, you know, the funny thing is, I, is that he's really the male version of me. My heart, my soul, you are the best of me. I can tell you the one thing that remained constant through, and that is Scott's devoid, devoted and loyal friendship. So you see, if Scott puts in half the effort into your marriage as he has put into our friendships, you're going to be one lucky lady. And when it comes to Scott, anything having to do with you, he's all in. For the longest time, I didn't think there was a man out there who could enhance every part of my world, who could check up all my boxes, who could be my best friend and also love me for exactly who I am, who could make me laugh uncontrollably, who could support and love me through all my crazy ideas. We first met Scott two years ago. Jolene had a different aura about her. She was relaxed, happy, and grinning ear to ear. Later that evening, Jillian asked me what I thought about Scott, and I told her that he seemed to be that missing piece of the puzzle. God knew what he was doing when he made us and formed the paths for our lives. I think about all the little things that I had to fall into place in order to make a lifetime with you a possibility. <laughs> Meeting you two and a half years ago has been my favorite adventure yet. When Jillian started school, she had a friend come over for a play date. My parents overheard her talking. She said, isn't my house huge? Isn't my swing set awesome? Don't you want to be a doctor's kid? My wife loved him from the beginning. And she always said, Scott is so handsome. I'm just going to call him Smokey Eyes. I often think back to the beginning of our relationship I think about how my grandma had a hand in this meeting. I think about how I thought I was in the friend zone after our first three dates and how I'm so happy now that I wasn't. You've always loved and supported me and met me more than halfway. I'm so grateful for you and our relationship. I love how strong we always are together. You see, most of, most of you here know Scott as this smart, uh, super intellectual, uh, handsome, chiseled, smoky-eyed, Brad Paisley-looking doctor. Well, the rest of us know Scott before that transformation occurred. I promise to support you in your dreams and do everything in my power to help you live your best life. I'll be faithful and patient with our love, even when it doesn't come easy. I promise to fight fair and never let your head hit the pillow at night without hearing the words, I love you. And over the past two years, the two of them have lived a fun and spontaneous lifestyle. They ran a half marathon together, they watched the solar eclipse, and they've explored different parts of the country. But most importantly, we've also turned Scott to a Green Bay Packer fan.
I can't wait to see what God has planned for us on our journey of marriage. I'm so excited to travel the world together to see you become the mother of our children and to have you by my side through every season of life making inappropriate but hilarious jokes along the way. Jillian, my heart is completely yours, without a doubt or exception, today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. I got to know him better. We realized that what Jillian saw in him, we saw in him also. And we had no doubts that the two of them together would make this world a better place. forever. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, grow with you, and support you from this day forward. I promise to always brush my teeth before bed with you. I promise to cook you dinner, and I promise to be your co-pilot in the car and spin the tunes while singing to you. I promise this life together will be an adventure, and I promise I'll, I will be with you through it all. When he told me that he had met you, I thought, wow, I guess this girl is pretty special. Then I had the opportunity of meeting you at uh, Joe Mills and Maggie Mills' wedding, where Scott lit the centerpiece on fire. But I met you then, and I thought, you know what, I think this girl is pretty special. And then Scott called me and said, hey, I'm going to propose to Jillian. And I knew that you were very special. The more I've gotten to know Scott, the more I see what you see in him. A strong man, a funny man, a family man, your perfect match. Scott too much, but I brought the letter that Scott wrote me in January of 2017. Aside from the incredible vacation, thank you for being such a supportive addition to my life. Jillian has brought me more happiness than I can possibly describe, and simply saying I love her would do it as much justice as saying Turks was pretty okay. I feel so blessed to have met Jillian and have been introduced to your family. And I thank God daily for allowing our paths to cross. Let's party. Houses always be huge. Your swing sets always be awesome, and may you be blessed with many doctors' kids. <laughs>